What up, gang Lane Carolina? Drop about time coming at you. It's Wednesday morning. Coming to you from the beach on vacation. Haven't made any videos in a few days. Haven't talked to any Gamecock football. Have had time to decompress, I guess you would say, and just enjoy things a little bit. Um, so I was watching uh, <clears throat> some Gamecock stuff yesterday over on the old Spurs Up Show Dudes podcast youtube channel and old jc shower butt or whatever his name is that covers game caught recruiting and this type of stuff at 24 7 sports and they were talking about this daniel hill guy uh running back out of the state of mississippi uh meridian mississippi to be exact um who was supposedly going to commit i think it was the last week of august to either south carolina or alabama and then uh, he pulled back his commitment date to, I guess, explore his options. I, I don't, I don't freaking know what. I mean, I don't know why these people lead people on. But at any rate, he, so he, he did that, and uh, has been seen uh, this year over at, up at uh, up at Buttfuck State, up at Tennessee uh, on uh, at one of the games. I think it was a South Carolina game, huh? Uh, isn't that uh, ironic? Anyway. Uh, crystal balls have now finally come in for the guy to go to Alabama. So after all that, after, you know, wasting all this time uh, with this dude, um, he's going to end up picking Alabama anyway, which, I mean, makes sense in a way. Uh, in a way, it doesn't. He ain't going to be the number one guy at Alabama in the running back room. So kind of, he could come here and possibly do that. Uh, I don't know what the state of uh, Mario Anderson Jr. is. I, 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 I don't know if he's got eligibility left or not. Maybe someone could uh, chime in down in the comment section below that knows more than me. If he can come back, whatnot. Anyway, South Carolina does have a commitment from a, a high three-star running back. He's a three-star, high three-star, wherever you want to look, out of Wayne County, Georgia. Um named Matthew Fuller, who's rushed for like 1,700 yards this season. And I don't know what kind of competition Matthew Fuller plays against. I, I don't know any of that. But 1,700 yards is a monster year. Daniel Hills also had a monster year. So that's very disappointing, but it's not a surprise to me. And then the JC guy, you know, he he tries to, I, I don't know, smooth over by saying, oh, hell gosh, not a surprise, because you know he... You know, uh, Tuscaloosa is just across the state line from wherever Meridian, Mississippi, and, and his daddy wanted him to go to Alabama. Blah, 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 blah. Just a bunch of the same old crap. Um, <laughs> look, the fact of it is the guy would have come to South Carolina, or he would he would have definitely, we would have stood a much better chance of him coming to South Carolina if he didn't know he wasn't going to get killed every other play. That's the issue. I mean, who wants to come play behind the Taffy? And I know... Well, we jackpot. We've recruited good on the offensive line. We got some four stars coming in next year. It, I don't care anymore. I, I really don't care to hear about it anymore. What's going to happen? They're going to come in. They're going to get hurt. That, that, that's. The, I mean, uh, that has been this program's Achilles' heel, and this is not just a Shane Beamer thing. This is a Will Muschamp thing before that. Why do we have so many freaking injuries? At this point, I'm not, I know every everybody has injuries. I know they do. I know, but you know why are you are we to the fact that we're so injured and beat up that you can't even feel the second team uh, offensive line in practice? That's just embarrassing, and it's something I wouldn't even admit it. I mean, everybody can kind of you know read between the lines and tell that. I wouldn't tell anybody that shit. Good lord, I mean. Are, these, are you not wearing braces when you in, in practice? I mean, what? And why we? And I don't know. What? What's your nutrition program like? I mean, I know mine's not good, but somebody even put a, a, a comment in one of the videos. I think it might have been after it was after one of the embarrassing losses this year. There's been some damn many of them. I wouldn't know which one it was. That um, the new nutritionist that they had hired had them eating more grains and I don't know proteins that cause them to uh, build up gas and they were passing gas and becoming becoming more fatigued than they would have been on the old dietary plan 
I don't know about that. It seems kind of far-fetched to me, but hey, I mean, if you've got gas and you're passing it during the games, I mean, use it. I mean, why couldn't somebody have hiked their damn hind leg up and unloaded a big one up on Graham Mertz's face in here before that last drive against Florida? And, you know, use it to your advantage. It's not an illegal weapon. It only seems that way to the recipient. It might seem illegal, but to the uh, dealer, it's perfectly normal. I don't know. Anyway, I don't know. I don't know why they, why this, why we stay so beat up, why we have so many issues. And I know we're going to say, it's lack of depth, lack of depth, lack of depth. We know, I mean, nobody is sitting here recruiting, and not many teams anyway, unless your name's Georgia or Ohio State. You're not recruiting four star guys for your depth. I mean, you're just not. So, you know, I don't know what the answer is. I don't know what, you know, I, I have no, I mean, there are no excuses anymore. This is just, uh, this is just tiresome and it's sad. And quite frankly, I mean, I'm not going to, I'm not sitting here telling you and don't go back and, and start, there oh, you go, quitting on the team again. I'm not quitting, but I, on the team, but I'm just kind of, I'm kind of checked out on the season. And that's sad to say here the last week. It's before Halloween. We're not making a bowl game. I'm checked out on the season. I'm still going to do live streams. I'm still going to make videos. Things are still going to make me mad, but I've gotten my expectations went from here to here, and they're not going back up. They're not winning. They're not... We, you got people out here, including this JC Sourbuns fella who said, you know, these, these four games when you come home, I mean, South Carolina's got a chance to win all four of them. Uh, no, you don't. They're not. Yeah, you do, but you're not going to. You're playing four nothing burgers, including Clemson. That means you too, Clemson, because you know what? You're not any good. Not any good. You suck. I don't care how good your roster is. I don't care how many damn national championships Dabo's won. I don't care. You're a team. You're, you've lost it. He's lost that locker room. He doesn't have any respect from his players. His coaches don't have any respect from his players. They're doing what they want to do. Look at what Cade Klubnik. Oh, it was supposed to be a handoff. It was supposed to be a handoff that in double overtime there on fourth and goal against Miami. I mean, what kind of, I mean, I mean, and this guy, I mean, this kid's just an asshole. He just is. I don't care how pretty he looks in a suit. I don't care how bad you feel for him when he's sitting here frowning. Mm, I'm upset. He's a little asshole. You called a run play. He was supposed to hand it off to Shipley. Fourth and goal on what the one and a half yard line. <laughs> and, he, and he chooses to what just run his own read or just do his own thing. Run to the sideline and just lose like five yards. Game over. I mean, after I mean, what that work he did to get down there. I mean, what did he do? What did he do? Threw like a 23 yard pass completion to get down to like the two yard line, one yard line, whatever it was, and then just piss it all away because he did what he wanted to do. And I know that, I know that's a word of, you know, the, the, everybody leaves it up to their quarterback. They can check off and, and, and change plays, you know, well, no, that wasn't what that was. He wasn't supposed to be doing that. So you've lost the locker room. And I'm, I'm not meaning to get into a tirade about them. But anyway, Dabo doesn't have any respect for his players. His coaches definitely don't have any respect for his players. Their season's done. It's finished. I mean, you're probably staring down at least two more losses. I don't. I think I can't fathom how Vegas has them favored by 10 points this Wednesday. Or this Wednesday. Today's Wednesday. This Saturday against NC State. Why Las Vegas continues to give them respect, I'll never know. It's just like I told you about the Miami game. Why if they continue to give them respect, I'll never know. But, you know, NC State's not very good. I mean, that's possible. So, South Carolina's not beating any of those teams. They're not beating Kentucky. They won't beat Clemson uh, because I mean, at least Clemson can run the ball. I mean, South Carolina can't stop the run. But at least Clemson has some semblance of a defense if they have their heads screwed on straight. So they're not going to be able to do anything offensively. Um, you're not beating Kentucky in that Kentucky's run game is absolutely going to gas you. 
And I know Devin, I know you could sell out to stop that run. Well, you could sell out to stop that run much like they did against Mississippi State. But the problem is, Devin Leary, who's a horrendous quarterback, will have a career day against South Carolina's defensive uh, backfield because it's just awful. Um, and then, so you're losing those. You're definitely losing Saturday at Texas A&M. Don't stand a chance. Don't stand a chance. The line's 14. Take Texas A&M into points all day long. South Carolina has been a money burner as far as that goes all year. Take Texas A&M and the points. Don't even think about it. It's a no-brainer. You got Vanderbilt and Jacksonville State coming up, and I say this with all honesty. Now, this is not uh, poo-poo jackpot speech. This is not me feeling bad about on myself, feeling bad about the team. The, I think they'll split those games. You're going to win one, you're going to lose one. Coming into it and looking at which team is hotter, I think you I think you lose to Jacksonville State. And you um, will probably beat Vanderbilt. I, but it's possible that you sneak up and, and Vanderbilt beats you. Because how many years has it been? They're going to be motivated. They, they've got more to play for than we do. <laughs> so... And it's a possibility you lose both of them. Two and ten is a distinct possibility. And, and at two and ten, I mean, will they cut? Will they? Will somebody just make a decision? Will they cut loose of him? Will they cut strings with Beamer? Probably not. I, and I'm not saying that's what I want. I, I want him to succeed. I want him to be successful. But I mean, would they cut him loose at, if he finished two and ten? That's hard to come back from. That's hard to come back from. Losing, splitting one of those games against Jacksonville State and Vanderbilt, which is what I think you'll do, and then losing the rest, finishing three and nine, that's going to be hard to come back from too. I, I don't know how you do it. And I don't know how you're going to get any decent skill uh, position recruits to come in until you, you have a total uh, overhaul of offensive line. And I know there's been injuries. There's this and that. I don't, I don't care. I don't care to hear it. I don't want to hear it. Soft play is soft, taffy play. It doesn't matter if you've got the third string offensive tackle in there. You can still tell if they're taffy soft. And I don't understand why these people are taffy soft. What made them taffy soft? They weren't taffy soft in high school. They was awesome dogs in high school. They had to be. They would have been recruited. No one would have recruited them. They did all get offers to go play at other places. I mean, South Carolina wasn't the only place. And it's not like you get here and say, okay, all right, here we are. Check in. Here's your uh, room key. All right, guess what? You're a pussy now. I mean, it, it just doesn't work that way. I, I don't know if it's coaching. I don't know if it's a culture. I don't know what it is. I mean, it's Columbia, South Carolina. There's not anything else to distract you from your craft, which is playing football and going to school. I mean, I, I, you know, I could understand if you were – in Los Angeles or Miami or somewhere like that or New Orleans, God forbid. I mean, I could understand other things distracting you, but there's nothing to distract you from what you're supposed to be doing here. So I, I don't have the answer, but uh, I, this season went down the shit. Didn't go. It went down the season before it even started, really. I mean, at, and after the game one, it went down the tubes. Uh, went down the shitter, and it seemed to go down it rather quickly. I mean, here we are almost at Halloween, and it just doesn't seem like this much time has elapsed, but it absolutely has. And I'm not saying I'm going to stop live streaming the games. I, I will absolutely keep live streaming the games. I'm not going to be able to live stream this Saturday's game because it's a noon game, and I'm coming home from the beach. But other than that, I'll be there. You know I'm a big old Gamecock, Spurs up my toes up. Not quitting on the team. Not going to say I'm not going to support them until some changes are made anymore because lo and behold, you know, you can't say something like that on YouTube without everybody jumping down your throat and giving you all kind of flack about it, even though each and every one of you who's a real fan has said the same thing to yourself before. It just doesn't get broadcast out for uh, all the minions in the world to see, so there's that but anyway uh rant over uh, my breakfast has already gotten cold and i got a 50 dollar scratch off ticket i want to go in here and cash and uh see what else i can buy so i can lose my money on the other 50 dollars worth that i'm gonna get because i guarantee you every bit of it will go into trash because i won't win but anyway i'll see you guys later on tonight live show 9 p.m appreciate it peace I'm out of here still go gamecocks ah, ah, ah. Woo! 
I ain't gonna say go, go Coach Beamer at the end of my game at my videos anymore. I might just say, grow up, Coach Beamer. Uh, 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 woo, how about that? 